In this video, I'll demonstrate how to generate F square values in Smart Build 3 and how to interpret them. <coughs> As you know that F square value is a measure of the effect size. The effect size is a measure of the contribution of any exogenous variable to a particular endogenous variable. If F square value is too small, so that means the contribution of that exogenous variable to a particular endogenous variable is too small. Hence, F square values, they play a very crucial role in deciding which variable should be included or which should not be included. So go to menu bar, calculate and algorithms and straight away go to report. So here you see in the category of quality criterions. So just click F square. So these are the F square values. In other words, we can say, so these are the contributions of these exogenous variables to these endogenous variables. For example, 0.419, so this is a contribution of HRP to OC and 0.338 is a contribution of HRP to TP and 0.211 is a contribution of OC to TP. As a rule of thumb, you can simply uh, find if any value is falling below the threshold of 0 0.15. 0 0.15 is generally considered as a threshold. Any value falling below 0 0.15 is considered as too small effect. In this particular case, you see this 0.419. So this shows there is a large contribution of what? of HRP to OC. As a general rule, if any value is less than 0.15, so that means there is a small effect or small contribution. If any value is ranging from 0.15 to 0.34, there is a medium level contribution. And if any value is more than 0.34, then there is a large contribution or large effect size. And higher the better. And here you see, in all cases, the contributions are quite reasonable, especially in this case and this case. Now we can generate graphs also. Just click F scale, you see, so this is the graph on Y axis, you see, so these are the F scale values. In this line, this shows our threshold level. This is 0.15. In all values, you see, so they are about that. that. So that means effect size of all exogenous variables, including this model, so that they are reasonable. So this is how we generate F-scale values and interpret them. Thanks for watching.